him. And let me tell you something. This was exactly the opposite of the House of Black versus the Infantry. It sure was. Because Jericho could not have put this guy over stronger. He gave him like 80% of this match, maybe more. Maybe more. Clean in the middle, one, two, three, got pinned, no fluke, no interference, nothing. The only thing is, is that he didn't lose the choke, which is funny because the audience, when Jericho got out of the choke, did you notice that the audience, like they, they didn't boo Jericho during the match. They were, they were cheering both guys. But when Jericho got out of the choke, they booed because I think that they thought, oh my God, Jericho's not going to lose. I think that that's what they were thinking. And then Jericho got cradled, you know, basically seconds later. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. I mean, this was, I almost thought he gave him too much since he was going to lose. It was almost... You know, like the Hobbs match, in a lot of ways, when, when Hobbs just ran through him, it's like like Jericho's putting these guys over, and Jericho's like a big star. I mean, I'm not saying that, like, he needed, like, to do what the infantry match was. I mean, God. anything but, because anything but, that doesn't get anybody over. But, you know, he could have done, um, you know, I mean, if he's going to lose to the guy, you know, he could take more of the match and still, I mean, the guy's still going to get over for it. But, I mean, I almost thought watching it, because, I, I mean, there was no reason to do the match unless Jericho was going to lose. I think everyone kind of understood that, that, that Hook was going to win the match. So when I'm watching the match, and I'm watching, you know, basically suplex and suplex and suplex and over and over. And, and it was almost like, I almost think that, that because people have been trying to do this thing of how Jericho never gets anybody over, which is kind of ludicrous, but people try to say that, um, that he was like overcompensating and going like, okay, I'm not just going to lose this guy. I'm going to like give him the whole match. And that's what he did, you know? And I mean, it's like for Hook, I mean, it's like the biggest guy Hook's ever beaten. And it's the, you know, um, decisive. I mean, you know, you can't say, you can't say anything about not getting the guy over and not doing it the right way. If anything, it was too much of the right way. But the finish was what the finish was. Um, and I'll tell you what, I mean, I, I said this when, when Hobbs beat Jericho and they didn't really follow up on it that much. Um, and went to Kesha to beat Jericho, which um, they are following up on a little bit. Um, you know, I mean, you can't, you know, you can't just drop it now. I mean, Hook's got well, listen, here's to be the thing. mix with something. Here's the thing. When people say, like, you know, there was a thread on a report. Who has Jericho gotten over? Okay. Actually, this is a pretty long list. Okay. But, I actually but, think about but 10 no, people. here's the point. Here's the point. It is not Jericho's job to get them over after he puts them over. He's not the booker. If you're upset that Action Andretti is doing jobs and six mans on collision or whatever, uh, this is Tony's company. Jericho went in there and he put the guy over clean. He, he went put, in he there put, and he, he put he, over Hobbs clean. He, he went over. in there, he put over Hook clean. Now it is the responsibility of the booker to follow up on these things. Yeah. What's Jericho going to do? He put the guy, he put Hook over. I'll tell you what. He's not booking the program from here on out. Yeah, well, I mean, it's like Action Andretti did not end up as a big star. But, I mean, you could not have started him off any better no. than, than that match. Yeah, but yeah, it did fall apart. But the lack of follow-up is not on Chris Jericho. He's That's not true. there booking Action Andretti's feuds going forward. He yeah, did what he did on that night, and then it's up to the follow-up, which is out of his hands, unless okay. it's a program that he's specifically booking. But okay. even then, once he's done booking his program, the guy goes on to whatever else. Now it's on Tony. Yeah. So, But the, the, the negative is, is that Jericho is, is a big star. And if he puts somebody over, he should only put over people that are going to be big stars. Just putting people over random, it's like it doesn't, it, it's, it's, it's not beneficial to the company to beat a million dollar player unless it's somebody that you're going to do something with. I mean, that's the role should be. It's like when, when Jericho put over Fandango, okay, in WWE, if you remember that one, when it was, you know, like three months later, it's like, why the hell did he do that? I mean, it's like, what purpose did this serve? Fandango's like, they're not even doing nothing with the guy. And that's the same thing I'd say with, you know, with Andretti, I almost will go to, this, to the extent of saying, because it was actually such a great television moment that meant nothing later. But at that moment, that was actually like really super entertaining. And it was like really a, 
a great, you know, one of the great moments in, in a lot of ways because you didn't expect it to happen. But I mean, like with with Hobbs, they haven't really, um, they haven't hurt Hobbs, but they haven't really helped Hobbs either. Like it's like he, you know, if you beat Jericho that strong, to me, Jericho should be enough of a star that if you're going to beat him, you, you know, he the, the guy who beats him should probably be in line for a major championship match, especially when you got 41 championships. You know, it shouldn't be that hard. And like with Hobbs, really didn't happen. With Takeshita, like I said, with Takeshita, they are doing something with Takeshita, and he did go in there and have the big match with Will and all that. So there was a follow-up with, with him. Um, and with Hook... It's like, I mean, he is FTW champion and all, but I mean, Hook should be going against somebody in a in a big major program right now, um, following up. Or, um, you know, it's kind of like okay, he lost, but didn't really accomplish anything if he doesn't. If they don't follow up on it. Well, Jericho did do a promo afterwards, and he said that 